One thing that bothers me about men and women, for now I'm going to talk about the topic of men. Coming from a person that always advocates for men's mental health, advocates for listening to our men, understanding our men, protecting our men. A thing that is asked backwards in society is that now more than ever, a lot of men are coming out on social media and saying that women take advantage of them. Women don't see their value. Women don't care about them. When it comes to heartbreaks and breaks breakups from women to men, they are left broken and seen as nothing to women and coming from a woman that have talked to been around mess with men that say like all they want is to be seen they don't want to be taken advantage of they're tired of being ghosted they're tired of how heartless and cold hearted women are talking about how they lose faith in the dating scene i've heard it all And when it comes to me loving a person, I'm going to give you everything I got, right? And I I think a thing that opened my eyes was this person was saying like, oh, like I've never, I've done X, Y, and Z, given the world, did all these things for a woman, but they never reciprocated. They never saw it. They left me for someone else. They never choose me, right? And I felt bad and I understood where they were coming from because that is what happens sometimes when you're in the dating scene where you really care more about somebody than they care about you. But then I realized what men say is bullshit because it's not that they're saying this to say like, hey, I'm waiting for that woman to come and give me and see me and value me the way I should. They're saying, I'm waiting for the woman I want to come to see me, value me, and give me the things that I love and should have. Because every relationship I've ever been in, I've showed up. And I've given a 100,000%. And before y'all go in the comment section and say, oh, this is just another woman hurt and ranting. Let me make this clear. This is coming from knowing people. This is coming from actually having experience with people. This video is coming from just looking at men and people in society and on social media. Men go onto these platforms, go into their personal relationships, go into their friendships, screaming how wrong they've been done, screaming at how toxic females are, how careless they are, how they don't give a fuck about us and da 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 saying all these things to tear a woman down, right? And then you have the women out there not saying that women don't do this. And I'm not saying this is vice versa either. But then you have the people out there that do come into things with good intentions are genuine, do want to build something, but it's not the person you want. So you end up doing the same shit that you hate women do to you and you do it to them. So as you're screaming and saying women ain't shit and women just ghosts and women are going to use you and women are this, but then you do the exact same woman to the person that is giving you good intentions, that is trying to work something out with you, that is trying to show you that they care and that they, they're standing 10 toes down for you. But it's not the woman you want. And I had to sit down with myself and say, why do men and women hate each other? Because when you go on social media, the only time I personally Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but anytime I've ever personally seen a man positively talk about a woman, it's because that man was married. It's because that man was in a long-term relationship. It shouldn't take you to be with someone, to be married to someone, to still uplift women out in this world. And I'm not just, the thing that I hate is that we come together, men and women, we sleep with each other, we have sex with each other, we do sexual favors for each other, and then we will get up and walk out the room 
and continue to bash each other like we didn't just have fellatio in the bedroom 20 minutes ago. That's the crazy thing about it for me. What's crazy to me is it shouldn't take you to actually be with the one to understand and the value of a woman. And this goes the exact same for women to men too. We go out on social media and we say men ain't shit and they and they're manipulative and they're ghosting and they're toxic and they're abusive. We say all these things, but we continue to lay and sleep with the men that do us wrong. And then we don't understand the man's worth until we're in a actual healthy relationship. There has to be some type of ground and barrier of us acknowledging each other and respecting each other before it gets to us open our legs for each other. Because all we keep showing each other when we get on these alpha and beta podcasts and when we get on Instagram and we get on YouTube and we get on these things and showing that, hey, I don't fucking like you. I don't care about you. You ain't shit. You you will never be shit and I don't need you. And when you don't realize is that we live in a society where we need each other. I don't give a fuck what it is, but men and women need each other, regardless if you like it or not. It's great to live in a society now where being independent is the goal and not having to codependent on your significant other to survive. That is great. But at the end of the day, we need each other. And if we're constantly as a society bashing each other, men and women, but secretly fucking each other in the background, like we didn't just say what we said on Twitter or we didn't just say what we said on our Instagram. What, how are we actually building as a society if we can't see the value of somebody in a friendship or in a talking stage, but you've then all of a sudden care and have this change of heart when you've actually been with someone for so long and, and you actually have developed a long-term relationship? That's the only time I've ever seen, whether it's a man or a woman, talk so genuinely and kind about another person is when they've actually been with that person for so long. But before that, it's, oh, you're on a roster and I'm talking to him, 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 and him, and I'm talking to her, her, and her, and her. And then we're getting around our friends and talking about how this one's a slut and this one's a hoe and this one ain't faithful and this one ain't loyal, but you doing the same shit to her that you doing to 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 him and then you cry fake outrage on social media of how I can't get the right woman I can't find the right girl to value me I can't I can give everything to this woman she won't see me but then you get someone that maybe let's say isn't your type or isn't what you were expecting and she's giving you every fucking thing you're asking but you're like, nah, I, I want what I want. So instead of taking the girl or the guy that you fucking need, you're like, I'm so sick and tired of getting used by these women that I want and I can't have. So I'm just going to keep complaining, keep complaining and avoiding the motherfuckers that are actually going to stand 10 toes down for me. And if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. But you can't sit here and say this is not happening. And it is every single day on every single platform and everybody's personal lives. Of how we just keep playing each other, using each other, feeling unvalued by each other, but we still fucking each other. And we still laying each other down and having this transactional sex, but you're not having this emotional connection that you so-called desire. Eartha Kitt said something amazing to me, profound. She said, and I quote, the men that didn't care about me were the men that was the quickest to lay me down. The men that desired me were the men that wouldn't even touch me. That is how it is in society. We are willing to lay down with people that don't give not one iota about us, but not give the people that will actually stand 10 toes down for us a chance. And then we want to cry wolf when we constantly are getting fucked over 
and constantly being used and manipulated and ghosted and gaslighted and wondering what's wrong with me? What's going on with me? And no one sees the value in anyone because we're so focused on, I need you to fit this perfect list that I have instead of looking for somebody that's going to fit the list that you need. 